Okie doke, let's hopefully this works so like you get a good vantage point. I gotta say this, am I ever flipping? Well, the Russians are more, ha are more happy than I am that uh, I decided to do a bit of a narrative here because I'm winding down. It's the last turn. It's actually, I've done all the moves except for the first army. I did a little tiny bit with the first corps there, Alexander uh, Duskevich. Uh, yeah, I think you can see that. I'm just trying to hedge my bets yet again. I moved uh, one of the Opolcheni, the Olita Opolcheni Brigade from uh, here over to here to help out the uh, Guard Cossack Cavalry. Just going to see if we can keep these positions. Um, as much as we can uh, stay in East Prussia, um, you know, come the December truce. We'll see what happens. Anyways, when I took a look at this, um, you can see it's even a, f a funny number here, 118. And I was like, oh my God, how did, like, how did this um, part of a narrative go um, undetected for me? Because the Germans finally pierced the line here. And I was like, oh my God. Um, I, and I know they've just been funneling strength points like there's no like troops and supply like there's no no more there and um, I was like oh my gosh so I decided uh, this week I was going to start doing uh, like find out um, how did it happen who was involved when did it happen and so on and so forth and then seeing if I could extrapolate enough from the report and the train features here to see if I can bring it up to a different uh, uh, to a different scale and see if I could gain parts of it uh, out. Uh, I wanted to go down a narrative land again. Anyways, and then I was looking here, I was like, well, the first army are screwed. They have no supply, barely any uh, strength points. Um, they're going to have to. And I said, is it the end of the world? And I had this whole little, well, actually written up, and I'm trying to do, uh, hopefully still do it with the blog stuff, because I want to experiment with the dictaphone transcription and also do a blog bit and see if I can use uh, YouTube um, and you know, bypass having an actual blog site and so on and so forth. Anyways, I was like, okay, I'm screwed. You see, like all these trench positions now and like I've got a headquarters here. It's just not looking good anymore. And I just don't have any, I was even trying to figure out a way of trying to nail these guys from behind. But I don't have to worry about this anymore. You get to see why. Because I was like, what's going on here? And I kept looking around and I went, okay, I know what happened. So, uh, like I said, so I went to my old reports. Uh, so yeah, so I was just going to start with, uh, with drawing here and abandoning these trench lines. And I was like, it's okay. In the long run, all we've given up is a hex or two. We're all going to be entrenched uh, come January 1915, and away we go. Nope. These guys are going to have to go back. Yes. So I'm going to replace them now, and I'll, sh I'll, I'll sh explain why. Um, oh, my goodness. So like I said, I decided to um, go and take a look and start uh, looking at the old reports, old battle reports to find out who was involved and when did it start. It actually started, um, hold on here, uh, it started uh, when the Germans did actually manage to, because uh, they had multiple, uh, well they, they attacked them from three positions, uh, they had, so they had lots of various ways of getting them and they uh, forced the Russians uh, to retreat to here but after that they were only able to attack them from that position and that occurred um, between the 10th and the 13th of November I do believe or the 14th to the 17th but around there anyways and now we're like um, you know between the 26th and the 30th of November 1914 anyways so I'm taking a look and I'm going into looking at all at how it happened and I couldn't find this combat and I was like what's going on here this doesn't make any sense like I was like oh no Chris you didn't write down the bloody combat that's such an important combat how could you not have written down that combat well I, I didn't have to write down the combat because it never occurred I started looking at I'm just taking a look at the battery um, I started looking at backtracking and it started making a bit more sense. I looked at the my master book for the Russian uh, battle groups here and the troops are still there. I went okay this makes a bit more sense because when I look and then it started almost having like a flashback. I remember using that weird BG-118. I was like I guess I must have forgot to put so what's happened over time is because I'm so sporadic playing this game and things get moved around and so on and so forth um, I essentially didn't, um, uh, I did good record keeping. 
I just didn't um, yeah, use it pro like I didn't uh, you know use it properly. Basically, I didn't follow it. So that's that. I, I reset everybody. So the troops and I was like, oh my god, where do I put the troops from uh, the German BG uh, Battle Group One One Eight? Well, it's like obviously they only have one position still. These guys got a ton of troops here. So I it this changes obviously the calculus from what the uh, Renin camp of the Russian First Army uh, does. It's not an odd way. It kind of almost a wish. I, I'm not going to fall back. There's no way now. I want to keep those trench positions. I mean, there's five hits each just to nail those buggers. But now, so I may strip them down to four apart because I have to really protect this position because I know he's going. He they are going to do that, and that's going to cause you know. I don't want to go go into that with this. I mean, that's going to be crazy land. Um, well, it would cause... Yeah, no, no, no. So this is a monster uh, combat coming up uh, for the uh, Central Powers next turn. Because obviously the Russians aren't going to do it. They don't even have any supply. So there's going to be one monster thing to remember. I know I've got another narrative to uh, play around with, which is just freaking awesome. Okay, hope you're having fun. See ya.